Whoever said that uh, avocados were evergreen lied. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I guess that one's going to hang on. Oh, I guess they are evergreen. It has one leaf. Um, so I'm down here in the best climate in the world to grow avocados. This is my property in San Diego, California. It's actually North County, San Diego. Um, only nine miles to the ocean. Uh, just far enough away to get some good heat and uh, be close enough to uh, be there in 20 minutes and paddling out. Um, but check it out. One thing I want to show you right now, it's like almost May 1st. I think it's April 29th. And uh, so I grow a lot of my avocados here, there, and everywhere through here. And as you can see, we have this wonderful fruit set happening. Um, these are Mexicola Grande trees. They fruit earlier than the rest. Um, here is a little cotto tree that's pretty darn big and shooting up all kinds of foliage. But you can see <laughs> that, that everyone calls me up. I have a great video on the web about... Um, it's called, Gary, my avocado tree is dying. Oh, look, that, look that one up. Especially if you have an avocado tree that looks like it's dying this time of year. Look that video up and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look at all the fruit. Like every one of those things. That is insane. This might be too many fruit. Might have to thin this out. Um, but uh, yeah, we have uh, some fuerte trees along here. And I noticed that they were setting some fruit, as you can see right there. Um, one here and um, yeah so anyway you'll see here's a beautiful beautiful foliage set but what do you notice about the foliage what color is the foliage it's a uh, very pale green well that means that that is brand new foliage well where's all the old dark green foliage it's not there that means that all this is just brand brand new with all of those avocados um, and that's what it does this time of year so as you can see look Whoop. Oh, yep. These things, I think, are, are semi-deciduous is a better term to put it. They should not be classified as, um, as <laughs> you just barely touch it, like, ah, Gary, my avocado tree is dying. All the leaves are gone. And, and look at this. So even if they're not gone, they turn yellow and brown and look all nasty. Look at that. I would be distressed too if I bought a tree from me and it did this. But anyway, it's totally normal. It does it everywhere. And then what happens right after that, all the energy goes into the plant. It starts making all these buds. The flowers come out. It takes tons of energy. It starts making all of the fruit. And then, boom, all the new growth starts shooting up. So all that energy is shooting out of the bottom of the trunk in the ground, going up through the tree. And it's taking so much energy that something has to give. You remember Scotty? Scotty in Star Trek? And uh, Captain Kirk's like, give me the shields! Give me the shields! And then he, he's like, then he's like, well, give me warp speed! Give me warp speed, right? And Scotty's like, I can't do both! I can't do both! What do you want? Shields or warp speed? Okay, take the shields off for one second! Give me warp speed, then shields again! Well, that same thing is happening here. We basically have, uh, you know, the uh, shields coming off, and then warp speed, warp speed right there. These are the old shields. So, you want one or the other, can't have both. Um, but anyway, let me give you a quick little tour of where we grow a lot of our plants. Um, here's the shade house. Got some big giant birds out there, and a nice bunch of chaos in here. I have to reorganize this whole area. Here's my potting bench right here. Here is my palm tree and avocado tunnel and here um, Pinkertons are branching really low I'm not sure why but it's kind of a good thing because of uh, because they uh, will be easier to pick when they're smaller and uh, you can see the same things happening to pretty much all these avocados they lose all their leaves and uh, here's the avocado tunnel when these trees get a little bigger uh, they're getting just partial shade in here some openings in the canopy it's a real nice situation for younger avocado trees because they are forest dwellers and they do appreciate, you know, some filtered light. Um, and then we'll move them out into full sun and get them really thick and hard. And that's when they uh, get super happy. And uh, then we can bring them up to you guys and you guys can plant them in Northern California. But you know, when this is happening uh, and look at, looky there, looky there, looky there, looky there. There's a nice chunky uh, Mexico Grande right there. 
Um, when this is happening and it's setting fruit and the leaves are falling off, they're incredibly susceptible to sunburn under when they're really in exposed conditions. And uh, in that case, you'd want to paint the trunks white. And here there's enough shifting shade that uh, it's pretty much just like their habitat in the forest. Uh, that that uh, and I kind of engineered it that way in here with the spacing that they don't really need the sun protection in here. And also we don't get that, that hot and that uh, intensive light. So the sunburn is not quite as much as an issue here as it would be say like in the Central Valley where it's really hot. Um, but anyway, as long as if you're out in the open though and there's no protection whatsoever, you wanna paint those things white. Uh, you can see some of the remnant paint on some of these trees. Like down here, there's a little bit of paint left on that trunk. Um, and uh, that's pretty much how you do it in avocado land. Follow those directions. Don't freak out when your tree loses all its leaves. And please don't call me because everybody calls me. It's crazy. Last thing I want to do all day long is be 1-800-AVOCADO-SUPPORT. <laughs> Even when people buy trees from other nurseries, guess who they call? I know, call Gary. He sells avocado trees. He'll have all the answers. Even if we didn't buy them from him. <laughs> now, anyway, um, go to my website. I don't care. Anybody in the whole world can go there and get information. It's totally free. And I put it there so that uh, you don't have to call me up every five minutes to ask me what's going on with your avocado tree. But anyway, good luck getting that guacamole. Woo!